Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Lon Paul here with your World's Part 1 playthrough. So again, we're in the normal mode, and we are not holding back from having to duplicate stuff. Um, decided to move myself over to this planet here. I wanted to get a couple of nice screenshots and stuff like that. This happened to be the only uh, paradise planet in the system. So, here we are. Um, we're going to go ahead and take off from here and go and talk to Artemis. And we're just going to pick up right where we left off. So we have our new ship. Very pleased. Everything's working out nicely. We've got a lot of stuff on our inventory, so sooner or later we're going to have to head back to our base. I suggest we do it right after this. So, let's get a move on. Looks like a nice solar ship just passed by. Love the hover ability of this ship. Just love it. Alright, let's just angle up just a touch. And let's answer the communicator. There you are. Psst. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interfe interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out and... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Ask what's happening. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, bzz, I was so wrong. I, I can see their faces. I, bzz, there are seeds of glass within there. Ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented on in the bzz. I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't bzz. Sixteen bzz. Warn your face. It bzz. Please, not yet. I'm not bzz. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Registered the ID. My frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Wow, right? It's a, got another nice rainbow with the sky over there, too. Isn't that cool? All right, we're going to search for Apollo from the transmission. We do need to head back to our base. Let's get this search over with. I'm thinking about why don't we hit the space station and we'll head back to our base and our system and see how that goes. This is an absolutely fantastically beautiful planet. I don't know. Uh, maybe just move our base over here at some point, but we do need to head back. We'll go to our base soon. Let's go ahead and talk to Apollo, because I remember that part of the mission is that we're going to be going back to our base. All right, so it says to bring the loss of the signal to not Apollo. Let's do that next. And I do have my game audio turned up a little bit. I may turn it down just a touch. Let's do that when we land. We'll just do that real quick. I'll bring it down a little bit. There we go. Just real quick. Yeah, let's bring it down to about 30. There we go. Alright. See how that does. So let's go talk to Nod on Polo. Still don't have our jetpack fully loaded yet. We really need to look into upgrading that. I think it's almost time. What don't you think? I'm not going to worry about the journey milestone this time, by just traveling. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis' location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo, and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds, into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. 
Nah does worry, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? Say they did not. This is a puzzle. A trap? Or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Corvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. That explains why his name is in purple. Did you ever notice that? He's serving the void. Boundaries are strange things, Traveler friend. This from Polo, of course. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. We're going to ask about portals. Just devices, Traveler friend, to be understood, copied, advanced. They... That, pardon me. That is all we can do with the universe, yes? Appreciate it. And that's all I get from Polo. But we did get some more Quicksilver. You know, another 150 of Quicksilver. So, let's move on. <clears throat> so we need to upgrade our exosuit. We've got a lot of things to get done here, folks. <clears throat> you know, I should do the Anomaly mission and get my 1800 Quicksilver, but I'm not going to do that here. We'll do that off camera. All right. On our way. So guess what we have to do? We need to go back to our original mission. So we're going to go into here. Log. There. Back to there. Uh, I'm going to scan for Hollow Terminus. Located. Wait for it to move. It's going to send me to another planet. Of course it is. Got one right in front of me, but that's okay. We'll go all the way over here instead does that all the time. I don't know why. Uh, no, we're going to ignore that space signal. I'm also in the midst of drinking some coffee this morning, so while I'm recording. You might hear a sip or two every now and then. Early morning for me is the best time for me to record. Most of the family is not awake yet. All right. Level out. Oh, there it is right there. All right. Now this one has some broken machinery, which means it should also have... salvaged data. Let me get this first. Just because you never know what kind of object you'll get. Did I not get anything from it? Which means I've been here. That's what that means. Alright, so our jetpack is not powerful enough to get anything done. So unfortunately, we have to do this the hard way. We are going to get some upgrades, I promise. Next space station visit. Okay. All terminus activated. Tune into Apollo. There you are. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Greet Apollo. Identify yourself while you're in this call. Say you are a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all? Friend, it is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble and that they attempted to use a portal and become, became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. As I lose my voice. <laughs> Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log. 
All the studies allowed, pausing and replaying various segments of static and distortions. They turned to me with a glow of excitement. Those, these noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted. Inverted. There's a lot of to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this? The portals? Perhaps they're the key. I agree. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? I'll accept. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a con to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. End communication. As the hologram recedes, Hollow's head turns to the side ever so slightly as if sighing, saddened. Perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Interesting term. Alright, so his contact is outside the local system. We have to consult the galaxy map. Let's go down to our ship. Take the short way. What milestone is that? I want to see this one. Oh, I met ten aliens. Hmm. So Apollo counts towards the tenth alien. Interesting, I did not know that. Fascinating. Alright, off we go. Consult the galaxy map, so we need to be in space, so let's do that next. And it's sending us right back to our home base system. How interesting. Good. And we have to go to the space station, even better. So it looks like we're going to get a lot done here. We'll be able to turn in some things at our base, so that's good. I'm going to check out the vendors and see what I can purchase. Getting some um, jetpack upgrades would be really handy. Now, the thing about the upgrades is that once you leave a system, when you come back, those upgrades are refilled. So you can always get another one if you need to. Okay, where's our space station at? Oh, there it is. We'll go around the edge of this asteroid field. And here we go. Okay. So here we are. Let's check things out. Now before I head all the way over there where the icon is, I'm going to hit some vendors. I'm just shy of 4,000 nanites, so this should give me something to work with. Alright, what do you got, Mr. Technology Merchant for exosuits? Ah, let's see. Alright, so we got underwater, which we already got. We got A-class movement module. Okay, that should work okay. Anything for now is going to be fine. So I'll get that. We have S-Class Thermal Protection. We've got to be careful what we get. Um, let me let me see. What do I have in my inventory? Hold on. I have nothing. All right. Uh, let's put this in. We're limited on space. We're going to have to upgrade that. I do want to get some protection here. Um, I want to get... I know this is an oddball one. I want to get three, four upgrades over here, and I want to open this all the way up. I need to get all those upgrades. Um, so this will help a little bit. How much? Yeah, it'll help a little bit. It's not fantastic. Uh, while we're here. Technology there. Recharge. Just want to recharge that for now. This is sellable. Hazard protection, 25%. That's pretty good. I'll hang on to it. These are worth a lot. We got a good amount of money. Just not enough nanites yet to do anything with. Let's get thermal. Um, we already got water. Thermal... Both hot and cold, if we have an S-class cold one, and toxic, I think would be good. And we'll get another one. We'll get four of them, if, if, depending upon what they have available to us. Okay. How's my multi-tool look? We really need to get some repairs done on this as well. We want to get this thing fixed up. Okay, let's go. What do you got? Alright, so we have... S-Class Hot and S-Class Toxics. Let's go ahead and grab those. That's 1,200. 
and S class cold. Okay. Good deal. We're dropping really low down. <clears throat> Pardon me on the nanite, so we're gonna have to be careful here. What do you have? Let's see. Multi tool guy has plasma launcher, bolt spitter. We're gonna be sticking mostly with our bolt caster. He doesn't really have anything other than a C-class upgrade for a bolt caster, so we'll hold off on him. Um, anything else? All we have down here is starship stuff. And we're okay on that. We're not going to go crazy. So, all right. We're done here. Let's talk to him. Life farm. You arrived later than anticipated. Data has been obtained, exchanged, utilized. New tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both base and exosuit. Excited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? Now, I have hot and cold and toxic, so why don't we grab the radiation protection? Okay, excellent choice, Interloper. Leave here at once and expand your base. May it prove a mighty stronghold as you explore the universe. Gra. Why is he saying Gra? He's... This is the most confusing thing I think I've ever seen. Because he is, um, you know, like a, a Corvax, so... That's nice. Alright, so we got some more stuff that we can build in our catalog. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. That, I wasn't sure that would happen. Okay. It says reach my base. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go to our current base here. Uh, hello. Get over them. There we go. Okay, I'm not selling anything yet. I'm going to try to hang on to some stuff. Uh, let's see. So we want to go to our current system. This is our alpha base. <laughs> Trying to decide whether we're going to stay here or go to the other one. But the other one isn't really the base yet. This one is a beautiful base. And if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. Did it have the islands or the flowers? I don't remember. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Okay. Islands. This is our islands. Paradise planet. Yeah, I think we'll stick here. This one's... Doesn't have quite the right color gla grass that I like to see, but I do like the islands here, so... Plus, it's coming up on nightfall. Could be uh, nightfall? Let's check the time. Time at the top right. It is coming up on nightfall. Okay, that's fine. Plus, we have that here. We have the uh, minor settlement, so that's handy. All right, so what are we doing here? Um, we don't have storage containers yet, so we can't store anything. Uh, barely have any power to this place. Uh, construction terminal is key to expanding my base. We already have that, don't we not? And you're fully charged? Yes, you are. Um, I already got a construction terminal. What is it? Okay. So buildable technology real quick. Got everything we need there. I don't really need the health station. I can hold off on that. Save beacons. Okay, we'll get some of that later. Let's move over to this. Okay, got everything we need there. Uh, and that's all we're going to get out of this. So, how much data we have? We have 33. Can we get... Can't get a landing pad yet, right? No, we can't. Not from here. So we'll have to go to the space station. So we're here at our base. What is it? It's very confusing. We need an overseer. Yes, I know. Okay, so it's about to tell us what we're going to be doing here in just a moment. Even a moment. So it knows we have a construction terminal. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to... Oh, that construction terminal. Okay, let's put this down. This was a construction research unit, is what this was. Uh, let's put you over here. Okay, go back in and we'll make the construction terminal this. Alright, so this is going to be our main dude. Let's pull it just out from the corner. I want to get it as far over as I can. That's weird, it makes me put it through a wall. Okay. There we go. 
All right. We've got it. Construction terminal active. Ha ha ha. I was curious as to whether it would let me do that or not. All right, so it won't let me access it, so I have to go back to the space station. But the good news is I can just take my portal. I don't have to keep taking my ship. So we want to go to this one. It says the current system, so we're going to go there. Uh, Paracali. Paracali exchange. Up we go. Pretty much instantaneous to getting to the space station that way, so that's good. Uh, our... Wow, it literally wants me to enter the station before it shows me who I'm looking for. That is hilarious. So there's a glitch in the system, isn't there? Alright, so we'll just do this real quick. We'll exit, come back out. Exit, turn around. And go back in. That was weird. At least it still gave us a good parking space. Okay. And looks like they're up there. Second level. Ah, uh, it's nice to see our jetpack lasting a little longer. Alright, here we go. Is it really you? This is attendant. Now leagued. Now lit. I'm gonna say that the G is silent. Maybe the T? Nalig. Let's say the T is silent. So attendant Nalig. Is it really you? Forgive me, I've been searching for such a long time. I'm contra contracted, contracted, contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. As a stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took, of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a mar bargain made many years from now a contract signed across the cosmos the vision ends and the overseer remains the overseer promises to expand my base allowing me to recruit other workers they require a construction terminal to get started which i've done hire the construction overseer there is something compelling about this geck they feel at home in my home they shall feel at home in my home i will be at my station before you know it see you soon friend leave Okay, nothing weird about that, right? Nothing weird at all. Return to your base. So we're going to go this way. Let's see if it registers. Now the return trip is always a little longer. I mean, you can hear the portal like you're standing next to it, but for some reason it just takes a little longer to rebuild. I don't know why. There we go. And there he is. Attendant Nalik. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Except the glass. Very nice. Needs frost crystals, but we have another way to make it. Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. Now, his name is Green. I'm going to say that Green... We talked about purple and red. Purple is the void. Red is the atlas. Green, I think, are independent standbys. These are people who uh, are NPCs that don't know what's going on. They are just part of the system and are just playing along. They have no idea what's happening. So I think that's what they are. Yellow are those who are informed but choose to remain neutral in the proceedings. So I think that's what we look at as far as the colors to their names and everything are concerned. Okay, moving on. Okay, everything pours through glass. There are things we have to do. Okay. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. Of course, we're going to accept. Uh, Attendant Nalig is already making themselves useful. Science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all for just a handful of chromatic metal. Okay. Expanding the base. So we need to do what? Keeps talking about the echo locator. Just ignore that for now. 
Okay, we got we, we collected it. Okay, it's as it's telling us. We just need to for for the everything to move along. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got to wait, unfortunately, for these things to finish up. There you go. There you are again, traveler. I am sure you have re the required materials this time. The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. I do not know what they are talking about. The overseer asked me for the chromatic medal. Give chromatic medal. Perfect friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. So now we have a science terminal. So we need 40 chromatic and 25 magnetized. Okay. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plants for a storage container, which I need. Attendant Nalig is reflective for a gek. They almost seem to regret the greed, the characteristics of the, their people. The greed? Oh, they almost seem to regret, let me redo, redo that, regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? Whatever their motive, the overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Of course we're going to accept that. You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation, is what he says. All right. So we have the catalog. Uh, let's go ahead and build this terminal. Do we have our... We do not. Okay, so let me put down our portable refiner. We'll leave one here. Well, maybe we won't. I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, we're going to make... we got plenty of chromatic metal. We need fer ferrite, 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 ferrite. Where's our ferrite? There it is. So we magnetize ferret. Magnetized is a little different. We need 25 of it. Um, it is a 2 to 1 ratio from pure. So we're going to get 50 pure. There we go. Only takes a few seconds to make ferrite into pure ferrite. There we go. Take the ferrite back. We're going to put the pure back in and we're going to make 25. Magnetized. Again, it only takes a few seconds. While we're here, we're going to do a couple other things, too, okay? So, let me pick up this portable refiner. Uh, let's make our science terminal real quick. Uh, let's see. This is kind of a small base, so we're going to keep it going for now, but I think we may be build building a bigger base later. Okay, so there's our science terminal. All right, and now we can go hire a base scientist. Before we do that, we're going to get some work done here, folks. Okay? It is time, and more than time. So we're going to put down our portable refiner. We're going to drop in our exosuit expansion unit, and we're going to make a dozen of these. Okay, so first I'm going to make the three. Pick up all three. We now have three upgrades, right? Let's check. It says one. Sometimes it doesn't work. I'll just be clear about that. Okay, before we do that, we have to go in there and put it in. You gotta go find it. Where are you? There you are. Alright. There we go. Now we got three. Sometimes it doesn't work, Sometimes, most of the time it does. Just keep that in mind. It has to do with the save points and things like that. It's a long process to discuss, not important right now. So I'm going to see if I can't get a whole bunch of these. I want It says I can carry up to 30 at one time. We're going to try to do that. This will give us 9. Good. That's 9. And put that down. This will give us 27, of course. I'm going to go find it again. There it is. There we go. 27. I am going to duplicate a few more for myself. So I'm not going to take all 27. I will take half of them. There we go. We'll make another 26. Because we're kind of low on... Oh, I don't think it worked that time. Nope, it didn't. Okay, see? Got to pay attention.
Because I would have used them all up. Nope, I don't think this one worked either. Wow. Okay, it's giving me a little trouble here. I really want to get that one more because we're going to use a few of them now when we get up to the space station and... There we go. 39. All right, good. That'll give us what we need. So let's look at our inventory real quick. See, there we go. A whole bunch of them. And we'll be able to upgrade this and then start sticking in these nice... Uh, oh, we got some B-class one. That's not bad. Uh, we'll start sticking in more uh, upgrades. Now, for the ship... Let me move this over to the ship, by the way. Because I want to keep them over there for now. I'll keep these here for the moment. Um, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the starship as well. And our multi-tool, of course. So, we want to do those upgrades now. I want to do the storage augmentation for the ship. Let's get that one done. It'll be a shorter journey. Give us 12. Nope, it's not going to give us 12. It's going to give us the 4 back. Most of the time, like I said, it works. Other times, it doesn't. Not going to work. Did I lose them? That would be a first. Nope, they're there. I just got them back. There we go. Nope, I think it just gave me the four back. It's giving me a little trouble here, guys. I'm sorry. Really thought that this would be really, really quick. We are going to be selling the other upgrades that we have in there for our exosuit for drop pod locations. Because we don't need them anymore. It's still giving us four. Okay, so this is giving us trouble. Let's go somewhere else. Our ship is over here. We'll do it one more time out here. Maybe if we switch positions, it'll change up a little bit. doesn't seem to be working today and I really want to get my ship upgraded because unfortunately I need some space in there as well and I want to kind of uh, open up some of the uh, weird arrangements there and there's a lot of weird spots that are closed off to me in bad spots so I kind of want to open that up wow it is really having trouble and struggling today all right We'll give this one more shot. If it doesn't work for me right now, then we'll do something else. We'll go up to the space station and start getting things moving along. Interesting. It's always in the last order. Fascinating. I was curious about something. That's why I did that. Moved my inventory around to see where it would end up. Yep, still not working. Oh, it gave me eight that time. That's weird. It's like it registered once, but not, not three times, as usual. Well, no, it gave me 12. I don't know how, but it did. Nope, 12 again. see if changing them around. No? Nope. Well, it's really strange how this works. This glitch duplication usually works really, really good, but for some reason today it doesn't seem to want to. I don't know why. I'm going to try putting it down in as close a proximity as I can to see if that makes any difference. There, that worked that time. Go figure. 36 locations. I'm going to do this one more time with just one of them. Because we really need to open this up, and I want to keep some of this uh, hanging out here. So not the 6, we're going to do the 30. And I'm just going to duplicate it once. There we go, 60. Okay, good. 
Now let's move them over to my ship. All right. <clears throat> and do we want to do our multi-tool? We can expand it out, but we won't be able to get it to C-Class. We're only going to get three spots, I think. What we need to do is we need to upgrade this. We don't have any crystallized hearts. We have plenty of Atlanta DM. We need to get some more mirrors and radiant shards. So let's go ahead and upgrade those real fast. See, this is the process. Even though this takes a while, it's a lot less time. See, radiant shard six. I got ten over here. I'm going to make a whole bunch right now. I'm going to make 30 of them. Let's see if it will let me get 30. It gave me 20 that time, I think. Strange that it didn't give that weird... There's 10. 10 more. And 10 more. I think it gave me what I was looking for there. Let me just try one more. <clears throat> double. We'll double it. Okay. There we go. We got 20 that time. Let's do the mirrors, because we're going to need a bunch of those. There we go, right here. I'm going to do them three times. I don't think we'll need as many of those, but... 20 would be nice. I don't think we got 20. It looks like we got 7. i got to find them now. Yeah, we still remain the 7. Looks like they're right on top of each other, so hopefully this works right. Looks like it's still giving us seven for some reason. Boy, isn't this fun? This is the most boring part of this episode here. I'm very, very sorry. I might just go in and just edit it. Because I was hoping to get what we needed. Twenty-one mirrors, okay. That should do. And the Atlanta Diem is the next thing we need to do, because we'll need a ton of that. So let me find that in my inventory. There it is. I want to duplicate that real quick, if I can. We'll definitely get more. There we go, 1,200. All right, let's see what we can do to upgrade our... Mo not upgrade, but at least repair it. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's see, we got inverted mirrors now. Radiant Shards, Atlanta DM. We can do that real quick. To DM. DM. So this opens it up a little bit more. It probably doesn't have any upgraded areas in here, uh, supercharged slots, other than the ones we found already. So three require crystallized. Okay, good. There's our technology supercharged. Um, let's move you over here. These. The analysis visor never get any upgrades, so you can leave them in a weird spot where they're not going to be affecting anything. So I'm going to leave it over there. Um, we do need to add some stuff to our to our uh, multi-tool here. We know that with our starship we have the paralysis mortar, so I'm going to put that in. Um, let's put you over here. And I'm going to add one of my plasmas to it. There we go. So that's now part of our tool. And we do need the bolt caster. Um, I think we can install that on our own, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's put you over here. Oh, we need to put a terrain manipulator in, too, of course. Uh, we don't have to build that, though. Oh, we need to get that advanced mining. We need carbon nanotubes and hermetic seal. And bolt caster requires three carbon nanotubes. All right, let's put this in. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to do a little shopping. This is why I like being here next to the minor settlements, because you can get stuff. Uh, from the terminal. There it is. Okay. So, do they have... Yeah, we got to get a hermetic seal. And we'll get those. You know what? While we're here... Right? Miles will grab it. We got unstable plasma to our heart's content. Uh, we even have magnetized ferrite. I forgot we had that here. Alright, let's go in here. And we'll finish... Where's my carbon nanotubes that I just purchased? It went in the ship. Okay, so I purchased it, but you didn't give it to me. 
How does that work? You thief, you. Fraud. That I have never had happen to me. So let's move some stuff over real quick, shall we? These can go in our ship. These should go in the ship. This can stay here. I'll keep you. O2 can go back up here. Yeah, we'll put some poop in the ship, too. I think we're out of room in the ship, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. Let's check the starship, because I'm curious as to whether they did go in there or not. It does not show them in there. Um, we need to turn that into something, don't we? So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Because I don't like just throwing it away. We can get more ferrite to our heart's content, but... And we'll be here for a few minutes. Okay. That was weird. So why did you let me buy it? I don't get it. Alright, so now we can fix you. So you're ready to go. Alright, so we do have a bolt caster now. Uh, let's go into our other multi-tool real quick. Is that this one? It is. So we'll put this here. Multi-tool. Uh, let's see, we got the mining beam. Scanner. Bolt caster, which we already got. We probably could we have yeah, I think we could have uninstalled it. And the terrain manipulator. Okay, good. And now we're gonna switch multi-tools real quick. That's not switching our multi-tool. I'm curious why this one's here. Is this the first one I started with? Yeah, I think so. It's also a B-class one. We'll be selling that one later. Uh, let's go over here. So this is the other multi-tool that I had that I'm going to go ahead and sell. No reason to even repair it at this point. And this is our regular one. All right. There we go. Well, let's go ahead and put these upgrades in real quick. This is the advanced mining laser. We're going to put that over here. That'll be very handy. And our terrain manipulator, which we can stick anywhere. Okay, we'll just have to recharge it with some silicate, and we're all set there. We do have to get some of these uh, crystallized hearts, but we're not going to do that until we're upgraded a little bit further. And then we'll worry about it later. All right, I think we're all set here. Anything else we can add? Personal shield, not important. All right, let's go to the space station and upgrade the crap out of everything, shall we? This thing's going to run for a little bit. I don't know if it'll empty out. If we lose the stuff that's in here, it's not going to kill us. I'll take what's in there for now, and we'll use our portal to get back and forth. Now let's see what happens. There's a glitch sometimes where you, you get back and your, um, your uh, refiner is empty. It has nothing in it, not even any carbon. So there is that glitch. Now, you're wondering how to upgrade your exosuit with all those upgrade, expansion upgrades. What you can do is you go to this uh, unit over here, this uh, exosuit upgrade, which you've already taken the upgrade out of, but it's the only way to use those upgrades for yourself. So there we go. So I'm going to start up here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Okay, now I could keep going, but I'm not going to. And I get three upgrade locations. That's great. Two, three. I'm going to put one here. And one here. 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 And there. All right, and we're going to hold off on the rest for now. Okay, we don't need to. Because we're, we're going to soon empty out all I've taken out of there. So you see, we do have... Uh, uh, where are they here? 25 left. Um, you know what? Let's use a few more. I think we can use up to ten more. I think that'll be good. Let's do that. Well, how much do we'll get? Us? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen will fill out this whole area. And we have how many? Twenty-five was it? Yeah. That way it'll leave us with ten. And we'll we'll use we'll use them later. So there we go. And that'll work. And then we can go back in here, and we've got plenty of room in our exosuit now, right? Plus, we've got the supercharged slots. So let's go ahead and do some, uh, get some work done. I'm going to put hazard protection in one, okay? And we'll go ahead and put this over here. It doesn't really make a difference. We'll keep the trade rocket off to one side. We're going to put our jetpack over in another like this, okay? Keep them next to each other. 
uh, the Artemis translator we'll put over the side and we'll put our life support and the last one over here. Now we're going to add in our upgrades that we purchased now. We're going to keep them close by our uh, hazard protection up here. And we should be protected from just about every environment out there now. One thing we would need, let me put this over here now, one thing we would need is upgrades for the hazard protection itself. These are shield upgrades at this point that we're going to leave those open for, those spots. So we have our Artemis translator and our trade rocket on the left. We have one life support. We could use some more, but we're running low on nanites. I don't want to really do that. And we have a hermetic seal uh, for some reason that I am having in my inventory, and I don't know why. Um, that's okay. We'll hang on to it. And we got our Starship AI valves, which we'll hang on to for, for that purpose. Okay, great. Let's go to our starship. Our starship needs to be upgraded as well. We've got a couple spots that are open over here, and I want to fill in all the gaps down here. Uh, how many do we have? We have 30. And any more? Just 30? No, 36. Okay, good. So, for that, go to this terminal here. And we're going to do number two, upgrade starship, and apply augmentation. Okay, so we're going to go here. That's weird. It won't let me do that? Oh, okay, it is. It's just for some reason it's not showing it. I don't know why. Ooh, we get another supercharged slot out of that. Good. Now we're going to go down here, and I'm going to fill in all of our gaps. I think it'll do that. Right down there. There we go. And I don't... I think that's it, right? Yep, they're all filled in. Okay, so I'm not going to go crazy. We're going to hold off on the rest for now. So that's done, okay? Now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna redo our multi-tool. And we go to the terminal, not the cellar, again. And we're gonna install a slot. Now it should only allow us to install a couple of them. Oh, it says max storage reached. So it won't let us install anything else. All right, that's fine. We'll worry about it later. Okay, so we've got everything upgraded the way we need it to be. So we're in good shape now. We have plenty of room for everything. Let's reorganize just for a moment. Get these upgrades down here real quick and just move them off to one side. Uh, shards up there. Uh, let's see. This, uh, you know as well as I do that sometimes keeping this stuff organized is a pain in the neck. Shards. The shards are handy because it's fuel for my ship, so I want to make sure that they're handy as well. Uh, let's see, we'll put you over here, over here. Uh, what is this? This is salvaged data. There should be a clump of salvaged data in here. There it is, down at the bottom left. Uh, let's take you... I'm just moving some stuff around for those of you who aren't watching. I'm just going to make some room for everything here. We're going to put our mirrors underneath the shards. Let's get our echolocator over to the side. Uh, we have tritium on board. I don't know why. I think we picked some up at some point by accident. Let's see. These guys can go. These exosuit upgrade charts, I think it's time to sell those. So let me go ahead and put them in my, sh my suit and I'll sell them. All right. What other... Yeah, let's put the wiring looms down here. The other stuff is mostly just cosmetic. We'll hang on to the 10 quad servos we picked up quite by accident, which was nice. Happy circumstance. Pirate, transp pirate transponders we're going to hang on to as well. Uh, let's see, void moats I'll put down here at the bottom. Okay. And these are just stuff that we accumulated. Some of it is going to go into a storage container and some not. So, oh, there's our more mirrors. Atlanta DM we'll put up there too. We're going to keep... Things that we're going to keep on ourselves for now are going to go down here at the bottom. Copper. Yeah, we'll keep, keep that over there. All right. I think this looks a little better. We're a little more organized. And the exosuit is already organized. We do want to sell off these exosuit upgrade charts. And we'll do that here in just a moment. That'll give us a lot more money as well. Early game money is what we call it. All right. So we should have a contact here we're supposed to be reaching out to. You see, it's telling us to enter the space station again, so it looks like we're going to have to exit and re-enter again. No, nope, I don't want to talk to the officer. Let's go to the trade terminal. Sell. Uh, not the, there we go. The upgrade charts. We don't need those anymore. Okay. We're done with that. Let's exit and re-enter, because otherwise it's not going to tell us where our companion is that we need to get. Our Corvax uh, companion. 
out, turn around, and back in. There we go. Now that we're in, we're at the station. Where to? So I think, like I said, I think the storyline has glitched a little bit in that it wants you to actually fly up to the station. Forgetting that you already have a transport, a teleporter to get up there, so. Okay, looks like we're back to this guy. Core of convergence Entity Erg. Okay, Erg. Unknown life form, I passed my test. You, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, ne necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. We're going to hire them. You think not of payment. Scanning while you sleep will be reward enough. Not creepy at all, mister. Okay, so we're done. Just got to return to our base. So we visited the scientist at their terminal, and we just need to exit this. So we've got everything upgraded. We're in really, really good shape right now. So let's go ahead and head back. Uh, let's see. This would be right here. Current system. Alpha. On our way. All right. Good deal. So we're fast coming to the end of our episode here, and we're going to be closing it out here shortly. Um, we just wanted to get a couple more steps in there and get ourselves upgraded just enough that we are not, like, tripping over our own feet anymore. My OCD rebels at the fact that I have open spots in my inventory. So those holes in my inventory and weird spots really, really upsets me. So, anyway, here we are. Convergence Entity Erg, a fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Request aid. Honor to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid, <clears throat> liquids close to Corvax hearts. Interesting. <clears throat> Pardon me. So we got um, the blueprints, recipes, if you will, for making acid lubricant. How fast? Very nice. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. I don't have any windows. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. We accept, of course. Joy! Our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Okay, then. Now... Before we go back to the scientist, let me just see something here. I just want to see if the expanding the base, whether the scientist, pardon me, the, uh, what do you call it? Search an abandoned building for data. We have a building. Just had to wait. I really want the storage container, so I'm going to hold off on the scientist and get our storage container. Where are you? Looking, looking. But it bumped me back. Hold on, hold on. There it is. There it is. Right that way. 13 minutes away. Um, I think we'll take the ship. Shall we? Oh, wait a minute. This reminds me. How'd we do? Oh, we got everything. Excellent. Okay, but we lost all of our carbon. That's no big deal. But uh, we'll go ahead and take you. There we go. All right. There, 13 seconds this way, right? 10 seconds at that. So another reason why you don't uh, go after your structures at the beginning, like if you make a base and you find um, structures, kind of hold off doing anything until you go through some of the missions. Okay, this looks like this is the structure we need to go to. It needs to be an abandoned one. You know what? They've got the eggs here. I wonder, should we go ahead and pick up some of the eggs? I think we should. Okay, let's enter this way. I'm going to go ahead 
go to hijack laser for now in case we have any things we need to shoot. And we're going to pick up some stuff on the way, just in case. If there's anything to pick up anyway, you know, it doesn't seem to be. Reddit terminal. We won't get much, but it's something. Okay, let's go look out here. We're almost done, so... Oh, yeah, there's one right there. So it is Flora. Okay, great. So we won't be slapped around by it. Okay. Residual goop. Gone. Okay. Oh, we got some launch fuel out of that. That's good. Projectile ammunition. Okay, good. Get some stuff. Okay, we need to go to the terminal. Oh, this will give us a upgrade. There we go. Door Corvax. Excellent. And we do have some stuff outside. You see that blue stuff on the right. We're going to go ahead and grab that uh, buried tech. User identified. Terminal active. Accessing schematics. The place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily, pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, a boys it buzzes noisily and springs to life. Analyze schematics. My wizard's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. Okay. Standing or increased. We're going to exit from here. We're going to dig up the buried tech first before we get these eggs. These eggs will give us... Um... There we go. I'm going to pick that up. Fill that back in because we're going to be running around here. We only got two salvage data, but that's more than what we need. And guess what we're going to do? Let's grab some eggs here. All right. Because I need nanites, and this is a great way to get them. We don't need the money. Yep, they're going to be bouncing me. Usually getting about three or four at one time. I pick them up one at a time because they sometimes drop through the ground. And you, if you can... Focus on them. Quick enough. There you go. You can pick them up before they drop. Good deal. This is a big one, so we're going to be grabbing a bunch of them here. Ooh, that guy spit it. Let's move over here. I think I got both of them. And we're about to lose our shield. Oh, that one didn't have anything at all. Nothing here. Keep going. Grab this one. Okay. If we lose our shields, we'll just bump up there. there go. Should start building back up again. Oh, there is one here. There it goes. One right there. Go. I think there's one more over here. Right in front of them. Alright. And when you get to a point, you can hit your visor and take a look and see if there's any eggs left. We have one. And he's over there. Right there. Dropped through the ground, but we got it. Good deal. I think that's it, right? Yes. Back to our ship, and we'll take off and head back. And we'll turn those into nanites. That's how you do it. Alright. Time looks like we're just about done with this episode. So we'll be ending here very, very soon. This time, I think we'll utilize the landing pad over here. Hopefully, we won't have to go to the space station any other way. All right. And what we're going to do is put down one of these refiners real quick, if I can get it. Where's my refiners? Oh, they're all in the ship, right? That's what happened. Hold on. We'll just stay over here, though. There. Okay. So. 
those eggs that we should have in our inventory here someplace. There we go. 26 of them. That is fantastic. So you'll see what we're going to get is we're going to get 500 nanites from just those 10 eggs. They're worth a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but when you're this, when you have the ability to do what you're doing, this is a great way to get nanites. I could duplicate them, but they take up a lot of space in the inventory, so I'll just do the old-fashioned way. There we go. Nice. So, 1,300 nanites later. There we go. Okay, back in here. We got, let's check our nanites levels. We're back up to 3,000 now. That's awesome. Let's go to our attendant. I really want those storage containers. You are back. This is uh, attendant Nalik. I am so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It is good to see the Gex is so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Give the data. Here is your blueprint, as promised, a trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. And there we go, we have our storage containers. Yes! I should let the Gek get on with their business. Leave. Okay, we're going to be doing the scientist next, but let's go ahead and make our storage containers. If I'm not mistaken... Uh, let me just see something here. Get zero automatically. It's one through nine for some reason. We don't get zero. I don't know why, because there's a zero storage container, but... How much did they cost to make? 35 magnetized? We didn't get our number zero. That's funny. I think we get that later. So we're going to make the number one container here. And I think we have... Let me just see something here. Yeah, yeah, yeah it shouldn't take up much power. Alright, so we need to make... Did I keep the refiner? Yes, we did. Put this back in here. And we need some magnetized ferrite. Uh, ferrite, 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 ferrite. Oh, we got some pure already. Let's turn it into magnetized. All right, we got that should be enough to make at least one container so let's go ahead and do it i'm gonna i always put the containers outside and because we have no zero container yet i'm going to just make one here uh let me see i usually put them right here i'm gonna move this one over just a little bit put it right about here okay and the other thing we need to make is we just need to run some power to it so i'll run it from like right over here here. Okay. Storage container now has power. And as you can see, I have nothing in here I wish to store. That's okay. We're going to put some stuff in here. I'm going to keep the salvage data on me, um, but things like the hermetic seal, the carbon nanotubes, I'm going to stick them in there for now. Launch fuel, i got to move over to my ship. I'm going to hang on to this. This will be coming handy later. Go. Okay. Let's go to our ship real fast. Oh, you know what, though? It has... Oh, it has economy scanner in the ship. That's right. It doesn't have the storage expansion. All right. Let's move some of the stuff over. We don't need to keep silver on us. The pugnium I'll keep on us. The mordite, no. This can go in there as well. I'm going to keep the signal booster on us. Locator. We'll keep these on us as well. Crystal sulfide. We're going to move things that we don't need right now over there. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Void moats. No, we don't need them on us. The gold we do, believe it or not. It's handy for building things and for fixing things on occasion. So I'll hang on to those. All right. I think that should do it for our inventory. This over to the ship. Just the launch fuel. Uh, let's see. Oh. And we have salvage data in the ship, so I'll move that over there. All right, good. Into the storage container it goes. There we go. That looks like everything. So, we have a storage container. Yay! And now we can get things done. So, alright. We are in excellent, excellent shape to get things moving along. Might even expand the base a little bit on our next episode to make it a little bigger. This is a bit uh, confined. We'll get some glass added so we can have some outside light. Uh, very pretty planet. It seems to be very hazy. 
Uh, so I don't know. Maybe the other planet would be better. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. So I want to thank you all for watching this episode. We will see you in the next one. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.